Over the future of one of the town's best loved residents. This week, the owners of one of Britain's two performing whales will decide whether the animal will go back to the sea or spend the rest of his life in a swimming pool. Elaine Lipworth reports from Clacton. Today, Clacton on Sea is almost deserted. It's much too cold for day trippers. But in the summer, thousands of holidaymakers pour in to see the biggest attraction on the pier. Nemo, the killer whale, would be more at home in the sea. Here, he spends his time swimming around the pool, earning his keep by entertaining children. This week, the seven-year-old animal is at the center of a major controversy over his future. The problem is simply that Nemo is getting too big for his pool, and environmentalists think he shouldn't be in it at all. The killer whale here and all the other animals of its, of its type in this country on display are wild animals. They've been taken from the wild for one reason and one reason only, and that is the profits for their owners. It's the kind of commercial exploitation of these animals that we've been opposed to and fighting against for the last 10 years. We're attempting to raise the money to buy Nemo and put him back where he belongs, in, in the seas of the North Atlantic. They want a plastic world where people only see animals on television, which I'm opposed to. We have quite a good education scheme going with the whale and the sea lions that we have here, and uh, that gives an awful lot of pleasure to over half a million people a year. So I really don't see that Greenpeace should deprive people of the pleasure of seeing an animal. Isn't it cruel to keep it in captivity? No. Um, it's in perfect health. It's checked out every day by our trainers. There's a log kept of its animal behaviour. Um, the vets are called in every month for it to be checked out. Greenpeace want to buy the whale. At the pier, they admit he's grown too big, but it's not that simple. Nemo's American owners won't sell. They just want to move him to a different pool. I love the whale. He's smashing, very friendly and very pro-human and my honest opinion is that he would fare better if he was taken to a, a pool which is bigger and uh, than the one we've got to offer i think he's got his best chance of survival the, the pool here and any other pool anywhere in the world um, is very close confinement for an animal like this and must be like a form of imprisonment and here he's in solitary confinement elsewhere he, he might um, be with a couple of other roommates if Greenpeace win their battle, Nemo won't be performing his circus tricks much longer. In a few weeks' time, he'll be hunting his own food. And instead of a swimming pool, he'll have the entire ocean. Do let us know what you think, actually, about whether an animal like Nemo should be uh, taken back to the, the wide open sea. George Milley, what do you think? Swimming pool or sea for a while? Well, I, I mean, I suppose I prefer whales to be in the sea. But what I do rather wonder about is if you take a whale like that that's been thoroughly domesticated and put it back in the sea, Would you know what will it survive? I and mean, the whole thing of animal liberation and all that is...